Uh, yeah, it means, it means a lot to us. It's another another title that we can chase. And um, also, I'd like, just like to thank Keith Rubach for offering me the drive to come up here. Our car's ready, the new one, but we just haven't tested it yet. So it was a long way to come to try try a new car. So yeah, we're just having a go in the um, Keith Rubach car. And uh, they're all very similar. It's just, yeah, just for, we're trying a few different things in each car. So we, this car here, I haven't, haven't driven this car before, this type of car. So. Oh, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what it's like and yeah, we just got to fine tune it so that way I can give some feedback to the customers. Oh, we'll, we'll try. Yeah, we've got, we've got, I think we got five track records this year in, in our other car or in that borrowed car as well. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go, but yeah, let's see how we go. And um, yeah, Steve's been, I've been watching a few of his races and where he's been running and so we'll, we'll try and match it and, and if we can break it, yeah, that'll be good. We've had a few people suggesting that we, we may start rear and, and maybe even start a lap down or there's all, all different suggestions but yeah, as long as we make it good and, and have a good run and um, just make it good for the crowd really and this is more of a preparation for next year because there is talks of having two nights in Mariba and two nights in Cairns like a week apart so we could spend a week up here in Cairns and this like, um, colonial resort could hopefully jump back on board and, and um, we could end up having like a we could all be staying here and, and doing like tours during the week, and make it a big family family thing, I suppose. We went down there. We the first time was uh, the Grand Prix. Well, we done the Tassie title first, and we ended up winning that. But that was on a hooky track, and then then the week after we were on the slick track, which was the Trobe, and it was fairly slick, and we finished sixth, I think. And like we weren't that good. But um, we knew what we had to work on, and we slowly worked on it towards for Hobart, and got a little bit better. And then we ended up finishing second there. And then the week after, yeah, we ended up qualifying off two, and, and got the jump at the start, and end up, yeah, we could pretty much hold that. It was the, the way the track was was pretty much how we won it in 2015 on the same track. So it was good, good that we had that information from 2015 as well. When I first started back in 2008, mainly racing well, for Vic Bugler and, and uh, other car owners during the, like, my time, um, yeah, the National Series was like the main thing that we really chased. The Australian title was up there, but now the National Series ain't there, so the Australian title is pretty much up there, and we've got four now, equal to the top. So, and Gimpy, I like Gimpy, which uh, hopefully, yeah, you know, touch wood, we can go good. But um, yeah, anything can happen at Gimpy, so. Just a little battles, I suppose, yes, in, and we really need to probably try and work the high line if we can to try and make it good for the feature. That's, that's the main thing. In the heats, like we, yeah, we really need to try and step out and, and run the high line a bit, to, and then hopefully we can run the pole line as well, They'll make sure we wear it out, so that way the high line is good for later. Where, yeah, some tracks they like to wet the pole line, and then we're all running top, and then we always work our way down. But, yeah, hopefully they wet the high line and we're running the low line first, and then we can run the high line later. Hi, I'm Matty Pascoe. Uh, I love to see you out there at Cairns Speedway tomorrow night for the Triple S NQ title for Super Sands, and uh, hopefully we can put on a good show for you.